Now, I guess part two this morning of thankfulness, because I was thinking of it, is really how do you be thankful in difficult times? I mean, in difficult situations, it seems hard. Like, how do you be thankful in sickness? Or how do you be thankful when you get bad news or your finances aren't there? Or, you know, personal issues and relationships of life. And uh, that's difficult. I think it, it, it lies in the word thankfulness and the application. You have to apply it in our lives. And not in a way that we mean, because that's where I, I, I messed up with my walk with God, is that I would take his word and I would apply it how I thought it should be, instead of how he says it should be. And so thankfulness stems from the heart, but you have to get it into the heart for it to come forth. And so you begin in the small things at first. And eventually when difficulties come, then you look in the difficulty for area of thankfulness in that itself however small it may be and you thank god oh thank god that could have happened or thank god thank you for preventing from go that far oh thank you god at least it's not this but there's a thankfulness that begins but to start we thank god in the little things and then we continue to thank him throughout the day when it crosses your mind and so we develop a mind of christ he said let this let this mind be in you which is in christ jesus and jesus christ was thanking the father if you read the gospels i was thinking about how and it starts at the beginning just by saying the word just by thinking upon it and saying the word and leaving it in god's hands then and once you commit to that god takes over i mean once you're willing to be to, to say, hey, Lord, make me thankful. I mean, and you're really serious. He's in the work with you. That's the beautiful thing. He goes into the fire with you, like my boy Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So he goes in the fire, uh, but there has to be a seriousness of heart. And, and so I guess that's how, right? We start with uh, little steps, baby steps we take, one step at a time, and God works uh, the rest of it. Okay, so don't look in the long haul. Just be thankful for something right now. Easy. Thankful right now and and lift it up to God. Say, Lord, thank you. And so that heart of thankfulness will come. It, we, it will develop in you. That's God's promise. He wants that for his children. And, and what he wants for his children, he does do. I like that verse in Hebrews where it says, And Abraham staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able to perform it. Be ye thankful. Yes. All right. Ciao, guys.